Hi guys, so we continue our coverage of some indie titles with a look at Obliterators on the PlayStation 4. If you want to support Team VVV, you can do so by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, why not hit the subscribe button too? So this is the Midnight Mayhem uh, stage in the career mode, which is basically a knockout event. Uh, you can score from one of two ways. You can either race your opponents out of the screen, much like you do in Micro Machines or you can uh, destroy your rivals with your power-ups and also if you don't have any power-ups you can actually knock them off the track uh, by barging them which also scores you a point so that was the end of that round so that's the uh, the vehicle I'm controlling is the green tank with the number one above it you can see the scores on the right of the screen you can see I'm leading the way by a number of points uh, your points are actually you can see the green bar on the uh, where the names are and that's that's basically the number of points you have the first uh, person to fill the green bar completely wins the event oh so i just absolutely smashed one of my rivals off the side of the track there lovely and hitting the brakes there just so i can get a nice clean shot and uh, so we've got nine more points to score for the victory so we'll start another round then and away we go so yeah once again i'm driving the uh the green tank as i pick up the fire up you have to be alongside your competitor here to hit them with the fire up, uh, the fire power up so it's uh, does require a little bit of finesse so it's a good action there so we're gonna knock this uh, guy right off the side of the track there so we need just seven more points now and we get a green missile which you're gonna send there you go lovely stuff so six points left another round over and we start again so you know lovely light effects in this game wonderful art direction attention to detail is stunning you know, the characters and the vehicles are lovingly uh, created. You know, lots and lots of detail, lots of character, some great particle effects too. Very impressive visually, I have to say. And, uh, you know, tons of fun to play. So taking the right fork in the road here, the lower section, picking up the machine gun, which makes light work. My competitors not quite destroy them though. You can see the flames coming out of the back, so he just needs one or two more little hits, and there you go. So another round over then, four points left for the win so away we go then so the red power ups are the mines missing there on this time and uh, picking up some uh, purple missiles and there you go so another one goes out so we've got three more points to get yeah another missile so two more to go and we pick up some more mines so trying to get in front of my uh, rival there to try and land a mine on him didn't quite manage it there so we do hit him there, we get a pink missile, purple missile, and we're up to match points. So just one more score to go, and we've secured the victory. Actually, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to race myself off the screen on purpose just to show you the missile. Uh, when you do go out, you, they're given a missile uh, which you can target any one of the competitors there. And you know, you can target uh, who you like, and you get as many missiles as the round allows. You can, of course, skip this section. But uh, you know it's decent it's, uh, opportunity to take out your nearest rivals, just to make securing victory all the more easier. So just one more to go then, and that will do it, will it? Yes, it will. So that was it for a look at the uh, knockouts event. So we're going to move on now to an endurance event, which is very similar to the knockout event, except this time um, you get instant or reasonably instant uh, respawns. So there's no. Uh, missile targeting this time around so you basically spawn back into the action a few seconds after you die and uh, you know this is pretty chaotic so uh, we have we had eight competitors last time around including myself this time we have 12 so it's absolute chaos once again I'm driving the uh, green tank which is out in front with number one above it uh, currently in fifth place so I get to score and uh, it's very easy to oh I didn't quite make that ramp it's uh, very easy to lose track of your vehicle so you end up uh, driving off the side of the course as I do so just there and uh, you know, yeah, it can be very hard to actually uh, keep tabs on your vehicle so where are we we're in second place now as a uh, number of uh, vehicles go flying over the side there and uh, it tells me there's uh, 30 points that, or the, the leader has 30 points left to uh, secure the win so you know it's, it's fairly lengthy game mode this one uh, I struggle to uh, keep up with the action there so I'm going to get respawned back into the action you can see the number 
the uh, green vehicle number one above his head just trying to make the jump and again I don't make the jump so we've got a bit of catching up to do now we're down in uh, sixth place I'll target a top three finish I think it's so chaotic and again uh, struggling to keep up with the action there only got about one point I think so not doing too well as I get smashed off the side of the course once more but uh, we did manage to pick up a point there so we currently in seventh place so we have dropped a place so I pick up a green missile fire it there not quite taking out my opponent and again we, we use the uh, Pokemon missiles there but uh, again couldn't quite manage to score so we will make the jump this side of the ramp yes we do so we're um, currently racing in the front of the pack that's not to say I'm leading the pack though because I'm in fourth place by the scores and I go skidding off the side of the bridge there into the water lovely stuff so back into the action then you know good fun it's a bit chaotic with 12 players uh, I believe you can go to a maximum of 16 so I can't imagine how crazy that must be especially online but uh, yeah I mean <laughs> with 12 competitors here it's uh, very hard to actually pick up the weapons because you know there's not an increase in power-ups as far as I understand it so you know whether you're competing against uh, seven others or you know 15 others Got the same number of power ups, so it does make it increasingly more difficult to actually get a power up uh, once you start increasing the numbers. But uh, you know, good fun anyway, good chaotic fun as I go driving backwards there. So, you know, it's very sensitive to controls. You can turn, it's very easy to turn so much so that you end up facing the wrong direction. So, you do have to be a bit careful. You know, the chaos, the action is so chaotic that uh, it can be very hard to keep up with what you're actually doing. So picking up some missiles there. Uh, did I manage to score there? Yes I did. So we're actually up in the first place somehow. I'm not quite sure how I managed that. I don't think we're going to make this jump. Will we? No. No. I've, probably, I think I've only made one of those jumps out about four times so far. So not doing too well. So missile there. The uh, opponent's hit, putting the shields up there. But uh, we are leading the way. And, uh, pick up another point there as I go flying off the side of the track as does a number of other cars there so back into the action then where are we we're at right, uh, right at the end see I didn't know quite where I was there so just went skidding off the side of the track and back into the action again then so again not quite managing to get a power up and again so you know it's very tricky to, you really do have to get out in front to ensure you can get a power up but uh, it's still good fun anyway. So another point there, so I'm leading the way, but only just. As once again I go plunging into the water. So getting knocked about here. Missiles. Ah, just going off the screen there. And I've dropped down into second place. I get destroyed there as I'm just about to go over the bridge. So back into the action then. So on the right hand side at the very front of the screen now, the uh, tank, the green tank is mine, uh, number one above its head. And we dropped down into third now, so I did say I went in the top three finish, so I'll be happy enough to secure third or higher. And the uh, leader just needs nine more points then to secure the victory. As I use my power up there trying to barge people off the side. And uh, where are we? We are, oh here we are, so back into the respawn. And uh, just five points to go there for the lead up. We're still in third place. So really intense action. I mean, you know, it's not unusual for when you get a sharp turn coming up. It's not unusual to actually lose half the field, you know, going off the side of the track. So it's absolute pandemonium. So two more points left then. And uh, it looks like I'm going to get third at best. As I get smashed over the side of the, uh, over the bridge. And match point then. So just need one more point, Ripper or Nipper. To uh, secure the win so good fun but like I say you know once the numbers get up to about 12 and above it's very hard to get power up so it can be maybe a little bit too chaotic for its own good I'd like to go sliding over the side but uh, all the same you know good action good in indie title like I said earlier you know, great art direction lovely colors um, you know really good uh, attention to detail great art style lovely uh, detailed car models and characters so a, a fun title but uh, you know the onus very much on the online mode 
because the uh, campaign mode is pretty short. I think we've got 32 events, so you're probably looking at maybe two, three hours max to get through all of that. So we're still waiting for Nipper to uh, secure that last point to uh, end, end the event. Could end right about now. No, we're still going then. So we're still in third place. Got a good lead over the fourth place car. But, uh, oh, that's it for now then. So that was it for some Blitter Racers PS4 action. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.